hi all so i am presenting this topic today that is finding object lock using sql in ibm i so as we all know uh, we can check uh, object whether object is logged using the command work object log in ibm i but yes of course show sure, we can uh, check this using sql as well so let me show you all these things so i'm um, just applying a lock on a file named clpf1a now lock is applied let me show you here so if i check the work object lock so you can see that the lock is there the, there are two locks that is member and data if i do stsql so i have a view in qsys2 library which is provided by ibm that is object underscore lock underscore info so when i use this view in sql query that is i applied object name i i supplied object name and the object schema that is library to this it will fetch the all the locks on that uh, object so you can see this is the object schema let's see this is the object name you can see system object name system table member so you can see this is the member lock and this is the data lock here it mentions the asp group so it is by default in the space as asp this machine doesn't uh, member lock type is member and data and you can see the lock state as shared and shared update lock status is held lock scope is job and job name which applied this lock is this one just do shift of eight so you'll see the lock count so lock count is two and these these are the programs which are running qdb open and qmbc open So you will see the last two columns here so nothing else so yes you can see that you can get the object lock using this view as well so this simple query you can uh, directly use in your uh, sql rpg as an embedded sql and you can fetch uh, these rows uh, in a cursor into your program and you can get the object lock status let's move out of this now if i check the object lock there are no lock on this file let's check this from the view as well so you'll see the locks are removed so if i applied that lock again you will see those locks again so yes this view can be used to check the object lock so Uh, instead of using the work object lock command you can use this view to um, fulfill your requirements or whatever you want to do so that's all in this video thanks and have a nice time